Hello. Yes, vocabulary running in the full swing. Yes. See, it's rightly said education gives you the wings to fly high in the sky and our cloud aspirants are flying on cloud, they are on seventh heaven or cloud nine because they are learning a lot of vocabulary. This vocabulary booster is adding on to their grammar, their vocabulary, their English enhancement. In fact, why do we call it vocabulary booster? Why not your CLAD crack preparation series, right? Because actually when you are doing the comprehension, you are understanding the comprehension, this is going to play the pivotal role. The role, a kind of a panacea role of things where nothing else can do except your focus of attention, your grasping the words. You know, as I told you, don't, don't do root learning, do with concentration, keep mumbling, speaking the words A C, A B, A D, A G, learn it alphabetically in a dictionary form, you will yourself become a dictionary or a thesaurus, an encyclopedia. Everybody would want to talk to you and that encyclopedic range of knowledge, you want everybody would like to add to that knowledge. So, please do make yourself a dictionary or thesaurus, a kind of a person who is erudite, learned, cogent, scholar, scintillating, knowledgeable, witty and, and the goes on series. I was very happy to read the comments the students wrote that ma'am you are making us cogent and the same series as I said they were also continuing. So, it is you know it is really a very um, a teacher's job satisfaction the teacher gets the happiness and convincement that is that students are learning, students are grasping, students are understanding. This is what gives you a satisfaction from your job and that is very important. Let us turn to our uh, roots today for taking up the root section, I am not taking up the reading section. I have always asked you to enhance your vocabulary, uh, focus on reading and that is what I am again asking you. Not turning to the novel and the story section, I am beginning with the root that I left incomplete in the last class that is aqua, the root aqua meaning water. When I talk of aqua, which means water, I taken this word because I have to give a connectivity to my uh, lecture. So, that is why I am taking up this root again. The word aqua means water, aquaculture, it is a cultivation of the aquatic plants and aquatic animals for food means you are developing the aquatic plants, the water plants and water animals so that they can be breeding of these for food. Aquariums, the small dens, people have a lot of aquariums at their homes. They uh, keep house uh, or they keep or they house the aquatic animals. Aquas is similar related with water, anything which is connected with water. So, if I say that aquaculture is prevalent in India, a sentence. Aquarium, she has got various aquariums or she is very fond of keeping aquariums or maintaining aquariums in her home. Aquas. Uh, is uh, something which is the need of the hour. This is the water uh, uh, requirement that is anything which is connected with water. We all have various problems, various if there is a shortage of water in our area, right. Moving on to more words in this. You would not have a subsidiary root here, so you will have lot many examples to be done. The word aquatic, aquatic is anything which is growing or living in water, that means everything is connected with water in this. So, we have just opposite as we say aquatic, so aqua when we take is water, we could take up subsidiary roots, dion is daytime. So, when I say dinal, it is daytime, nocturnal is nighttime. Agri is field time, right, and nav is the ship for the marine. So, it is then you can draw up a connection between these subsidiary roots along with this any word that you are making in connection with this word. Uh, there are various owl is a nocturnal creature, there are sunflower is a diurnal. Uh, beautiful flower, there she is very fond of aquatic animals and uh, agri India is an agricultural country because 90 percent of people uh, have their uh, livelihood from agriculture. The ship is ready for navigation, right. Aquarius is aquatic plants ke baad, aqui 
एक्विस इज अ बेड रॉक्स दैट होल्ड्स ग्राउंड वाटर जो कि रॉक्स जो वाटर को होल्ड करते हैं ग्राउंड वाटर को दैट इज कॉल्ड यू नो द लेयर्स ऑफ द रॉक्स दैट कम सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स एंड मेडाफोफिस रॉक्स एंड दो विच फॉर्म्स ऑफ द लेयर दैट इज द एक्विफ्रिस एक्विडक्ट इज द पाइप सी डक्ट इज अ पाइप any kind of a channel or a pipe which carries like we if we say hemaduct it would be carrying blood so it is aqueduct is a pipe or a channel that carries huge volume of water water ko carry karta hai and that is why it is aqueduct aqualung is the breathing equipment used during underwater diving or swimming isko use karte hain hum jab breathing karta hai person saans leta hai ya swimming karta hai that is aqualung so it makes it quite clear that you have to focus on the root right aqua and that is water just go through the series of this list so very easy series so that we will be coming up with various uh, different forms because i just wanted to complete the letter a so i took up this word also along with this right moving on to our next one aquanaut you must have heard of astronaut since uh, aster means star so when i take aster it is star and same not is a diver so same way a scuba diver is an astronaut same way if i say change the basic prefix astronaut this would become a person who goes in the space right and aquarist is a person who looks after the aquarium so the basic thing which goes at the back of our mind anything related with this would be water what are the famous saying water water everywhere but not a drop to drink right because it is the thing which tells you that water forms the chief element of all of this and it is something which makes our livelihood complete right so you are ready for the second root come on sabse roots keep them in mind don't forget them he is an astro aquanaut right or uh, she has called an aquarist as various fish are dying in uh, in the aquarium please note for the word fish as we are talking of we do not use in english the word fishes prominently not used in the plural form fish is in the pond and fish are in the pond we differentiate in singular and plural on the basis of the verb here right okay moving on to our next root we have noted down everything okay wonderful root onim onim means name anything's name is onim now we have first the roots uh, linked with it first the subsidiary roots that i take ready so anonymous is without a name you must have heard in your childhood yes i did also the poet i my my teacher you know almost being a patrician my teacher made me learn this yes the poet of this poem is anonymous means unknown without a name the name is not known pseudonym means a false name it's sometimes used as a pen name sometimes it is actually a false name so it's more often going to an imposter who uses various names who is a fraud or a cheat who assumes various name to do something wrong some kind of uh, you know evil or if i could say some kind of forgery right synonym is the words that share its name together with another so in simple words it's the similar meaning word right antonym is just the words whose name is opposite to each other so they are opposites the meaning is contro or contradictory
just grasp in your mind, close your eyes, focus on the words, the word anonymous without a name and means name. I made a sentence simultaneously, I give a repetition. The poet of this poem is anonymous, whereas people live an anonymous life. The farmers who bring food and uh, food for us, who reap the uh, their crops are anonymous for us for the whole of life live an anonymous life. They live anonymous, they die anonymous. Pseudonym, the imposters have various pseudonyms and they are, uh, they are sometimes they escape from the hands the, of the police. Synonym is the word which has similar meaning, like if I will say for example, one word which gives a various meaning, the same word has various meaning like the word pride, haughty, arrogant, conceited, disdainful, supercilious, carries airs. She carries airs because she belongs to a royal family. This is a synonym of the word pride, right. Moving on to antonym, this is opposite of the thing. So, if I say happy, so the opposite would be sad, ecstasy is to depression. So, this is an antonym relation. This forms a very important relationship in English. In fact, this is the axis of English. Without this kind of a relation, you will this will be helping in your analogy section also. Without this kind of a relation, you cannot move on in English. Do not forget anywhere nim would be name. This is not acting only as a prefix or a suffix, it is just the name of something which helps you with name, without name, same name, opposite name or a false name. See people do have a pen name like various poets, various writers used to write with the pen name. I had discussed with you about Rob, uh, the forgetting essay, right, if I do remember, yes forgetting Robert Laird used to write by the uh, pen name of YY and very famous writer that is uh, the Joseph Addison, he used to write by the pen name of uh, spectator. These people used to write by the pen name for a noble cause because they did not want to get popular. Autographs and photographs they wanted to keep away from the glamorous world, the dross and gloss of this world and they wanted to keep away from being highlighted. That is pen name, that is not a pseudonym, that is a pen name. So, there is a difference I had explained you of the two. Sometimes people take them as synonyms, but they are actually not synonyms. I hope the idea is clear. The subsidy rules and is not or without, right. If it is anaerobic anesthesia, pseudo research was done by various scientists, right, that is a false research, uh, synonym or synonym or ant or antonym or antagonist you must say a word like protagonist is the main, pro is main and ant is against and the word we are taking is analogies linked with these things. Now, when we are moving on to this further and we take up more roots on this, it is very simple to grasp the meaning what is the writer trying to say and when you are reading up it is a series, it is easy for you to understand and comprehend the passage. Let us go for two more words for this, right and the subsidiary word roots for this, matter is father. matter is mother, fatter is brother, and or h u m it is human being or simply man. So, patronymic is father's name, patronymic is mother's name, you know on the dynasty that you are carrying on and homonym is same words like if I say for the word there and there, they are homonyms, right. This means belongingness, this is a pronoun, right. So, this is simple to grasp and understand the word homonyms, the two roots we have taken and the 10 subsidy roots we have taken, I hope you have understood and you enjoyed the series, you have made your own examples, the sentences and everything else is clear to you. If anything you find a doubt, any problem, it is something we would love to, we welcome all doubts, we welcome all criticism because it is your appreciation which really makes us what we are, right. So, thank you for today, thank you students.